Do you know the three elements that make up soil? Josh here. I've been planting fruit trees in the ground for 10 years and I've got hundreds. And one of the things that I learned is that soil is pretty important. In fact, it's one of the most important things in choosing your site or in steps that you need to take to amend that soil so that the tree can be successful long term. Now, the three different things that soil is made up of are this. Number one, clay. I've got a lot of clay in my area. Clay is very fine particulate matter packed together. And one of the challenges with clay is that it tends to hold moisture really well and it doesn't aerate as much. Remember, roots need air to breathe just like humans in order for them to properly grow. And if you drown the roots in too much water or too thick a soil where it doesn't get that air, it's not gonna live. So you have to have some opening. So hard clay, solid hard clay, is really hard to grow in unless you add amendments because it lacks air and it holds that moisture. All right, next up, and I'm just gonna keep throwing dirt at the camera because it's fun, <laughs> is, is silt. So silt, is sort of another step above clay, but just slightly in terms of how fine the particulate matter is. Silt is actually a really good substrate for growing in, and it provides a good balance between water retention, aeration, and drainage, which is another key part of choosing the right soil. All right, so we've got one, which is clay, two, which is silt, and then the third one is sand. And sand particulate matter is much larger. All right, here, incoming, here we go. <laughs> sand is all about uh, drainage. In other words, if you just spray water in a bucket full of sand, all that water is just gonna immediately go down to the bottom. It's not gonna puddle up on top because the particulates are so large that the water drains really quickly. So if you've got sandy soil, you're gonna to have to water a lot more than if you had clay soil because that water is just not gonna stay. Now, those three different types of soil can be combined, right? You've got sandy clay, you've got uh, you know silty loam, I mean, all this stuff, and loam, is really a balance of all three of those. So loam is sort of the perfect growing substrate and loam is really a balance uh, that allows the roots to breathe. It holds the perfect amount of water retention. So if you've got a nice loam clay, you're really in luck, but most of us don't have that. I personally get a lot of clay in mine. In fact, let's get rid of some of this clay here. And the challenge is, with clay is you have to break it up. It gets really compacted. It's, um, it holds that moisture. The problem with sand is it doesn't hold enough moisture. So if you've got really sandy soil, you might need to add more clay into it or more amendments that are going to retain that moisture. So the key is to know your soil makeup. And a lot of times you can actually send your soil off to uh, get tested and to give you readouts of what the balance is. There's also some at-home tests that you can do to see what percent clay, silt, and sand that you have. But the key is to understand what type of soil you have so you know how to balance that out with what the tree wants. Um, probably nobody has the perfect soil uh, where they don't have to do anything. That's a very small percentage of people. So most of the time, you're either gonna have to um, add things to break up add things to hold more water. The different type of amendments will be dictated by the type of soil that you have. So just keep that in mind, that soil breakdown is really important to understand how trees are gonna grow in your environment. All right, I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I'll see you in the next video.